Welcome, everyone. I'm here at Bent Apple Farm in Londonderry, Vermont, and I'm super excited to show you guys this spot. I've been dying to come here for a while now, and I'm stoked that I'm finally able to, and I'm able to bring you guys along and show you guys this incredible property. Ben, the owner of this property, reclaimed this 200-year-old barn from Husik and took it apart and rebuilt it piece by piece using the same materials and pretty much kept this thing in pristine condition. Ben said that this place took two years to build from start to finish, which is astounding. And the attention to detail and the amount of effort and time and energy that must have gone into restoring this old barn is incredible. This place is a dream. Literally, it feels as though Ben went into the depths of my brain, picked out my dream home and popped it right there. <laughs> And it's abundantly clear how passionate he is about this spot, given the amount of detail and thought that must have gone into this. It's amazing. And I'm so beyond excited and grateful to be here and to be able to show you guys around. So let's not waste any more time and let's go on inside. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. This kitchen is, for me at least, the highlight of this property. It is a world-class kitchen with some of the most amazing appliances I've ever seen. They come from the GE Monogram Edition, and Ben, the owner, is a phenomenal chef, and he says that these are his personal preference when it comes to appliances. So you have the six burner stovetop, with a griddle as well, a two-door fridge with the freezer, and on the other side of this, you have the oven. One of the other amazing features of this kitchen is all of the counter space. Now, all of this wood is super nice, super smooth, and there's just an abundant amount of counter space here. You have it on the other side of the stovetop, you have it to the left, to the right of the sink, and to the right of the fridge. There's plenty of counter space, so, while you're cooking, you never feel cramped or crowded. You have tons of room and yeah, it's really awesome. The kitchen itself is also fully stocked with tons of pots and pans and skillets, pretty much anything you would ever need. And given that Ben is, you know, a professional chef, he knows exactly what you would need. And if anything's missing, you can just, you know, shoot him a text and I'm sure he would have you covered. One of the cooler aspects of the kitchen, in my opinion, is the hanging boat from the ceiling. It is just a super cool addition. It's so rustic, so unique. I've never seen anything like it, and it kind of just really ties the whole kitchen together. It's, it's really cool. Ben also provides his own coffee grounds and his own maple syrup, which I tried this morning, and they are top-notch, truly. This kitchen, for being in a 200-year-old barn, is one of the most luxurious and impressive kitchens that I have ever gotten the chance to cook in and experience. It really is spectacular, and it makes cooking in here that much more enticing. All right, guys, moving on. Now I'm going to show you the dining area that's over this way. So welcome to the dining area. As you can see, the table is fairly small. However, it does fold out but if you're traveling just with another person or by yourself like I am, you don't really need that fold out option as this is plenty, plenty big for whatever meal you had. This morning I had my pancakes, my eggs, coffee, and I still have room for the books and the journal. So there's tons of room on this table. It's also beautifully crafted. Um, it's one of the things that I really enjoy about this property is all of the wood in here it just makes it feel super cozy, super homey, and super rustic, which I personally am a huge fan. Another aspect of the dining area that I really enjoy is these two glass doors right in front of it. It allows the natural light to come in and wash over you as you know, you're drinking your morning coffee and you're able to watch the birds and the chipmunks and the bees fly around and go about their days outside. All right guys, welcome to the living area. This is, in my opinion, probably the coziest spot in the entire barn. It just 
has this super warm, inviting feel to it. The first thing that probably catches your eye is the super impressive modern Glenwood wood stove over there. The thing is incredible, and sadly, I'm not going to get to use it because I'm here in the summer, but for those cold winter nights, that thing must be the ultimate wood stove. I've never gone to use one, but you can cook right on top of it. It's warm. It brings just a nice ambiance to the room and is definitely the centerpiece of this area. This area also features two really cozy chairs right here and a super comfortable couch over there with the Pendleton blanket. Perfect for cozying up next to the fire, reading a good book, sipping on some tea. Yeah, this place is super cozy and definitely the most perfect spot to hunker down, relax, unwind, and just soak up the quintessential Vermont vibe that is in this barn. All right, guys, welcome to the bathroom. Now, this barn only features one bathroom, but man, they really made it work in this one. They have this incredible 12-foot bathtub that must just transport you to this place of tranquility and serenity and make you feel as if you're in your own personal spa. I also have this really nice shower head that goes right into it, which I like that they have both of those options in case you want to soak in the tub or if you just want to clean off in the shower, they give you both of those options. I also really enjoy the door that they have in here. As you're aware, everything in here is reclaimed, but this door in particular is super, super old looking. It's got this really old weathered texture to it. It's just a really nice asset to this bathroom. And lastly, their toilet in here is also over a hundred years old, which for me is the oldest toilet that I've ever used, but has given me no problems whatsoever. It's not messy, it's not difficult, it doesn't smell in here. This bathroom is really well put together and really makes you feel as if you're a hundred years in the past, which is a super novel and fun feeling, and I'm really enjoying it here. All right, well, that wraps up the downstairs area. Let's take it on up. Welcome to the bedroom. Um, not gonna lie, it was extremely tough to get out of bed this morning because this place is just super warm and inviting and that bed is unbelievably comfortable. <laughs> you just kind of like melt like right into it and yeah, it's very tough to get out. And that window right there kind of lets in the real nice morning light and you can kind of see the clouds get painted with the sunrise. So super tough to get up this morning, but yeah. For me, one of the highlights of this bedroom area is all of this super raw wood that lines the uh, ceiling. It's very rough, it's not finished, it's not sanded, it's, you know, you can tell that it's old and weathered and it's got some history to it, which I really do enjoy. Also a TV up here, which you know, I'm not a big TV person in general, um, so I haven't used it, but you know, if it's raining out or if it's snowing during the winter, this would be a super nice spot to come cozy up and watch a movie. The whole room is super open concept, so it actually has two doors that open up and you can kind of look down into the kitchen, which is a very unique view. I've never really seen anything much like that, but very cool. All right, guys, this is hands down my favorite part of this whole barn. Look at this outdoor shower. It is just, it's amazing. And I'm genuinely looking forward to taking a shower in one. Guys, welcome to the front porch. Um, this front porch is awesome. It's got pretty much everything you would need to spend just hours on end here. It's got a rocking chair. It's got this super comfortable hammock that I've already spent a couple hours in. It's got a grill for grilling. It's got these incredible views out into the meadows and the rolling hills in the back and the sun sets right over those hills so you really get some spectacular sunsets here and yeah it's just the perfect spot to kind of hang out watch the sun go down and watch the stars come up all right well that wraps up the tour i hope you all enjoyed it you can find them on airbnb the link is in the description also follow them on instagram at bent apple farm and yeah, this barn is truly special. Um, I hope you guys go check it out. Until next time. Later.